Hi there, your computer friend Connie here with a quick Excel tip. This one is on how you can do a formula with words. Sounds cool. So by now you should know that in Excel, we want to use this program to create all kinds of formulas. And the best way to create a formula is to use a cell address. So you're used to probably typing in a formula where it's C3 or in this case, C4 times D4 equals the total staff pay for the week for Fred. Now we're going to look at um, what's done here, which is if you look in the formula bar at the top, you're going to see as I'm on 300, 300 here, it shows hours work times rate of pay. It doesn't say C4 times D4. Hmm. What is going on with that? So what's happening is, is we're using in the formula named ranges. A named range is simply where you select some cells and then you name it. So let's try this out. I'm going to show you how to make a named range. We're going to name this list over here uh, for the staff and we'll call it staff. So Fred to Sam, these are our staff members. So we're going to name that range staff. And to do that, we're going to go to this area here, which is called the name box. Type in the word staff. You want to keep those names short, sweet, no spaces allowed. And then just once you've typed in the word, hit enter and that becomes the name of the range. So how this works is and now if I go to this little box on the left, to the left of my formula bar, I have a little drop down and staff is there. So it highlights my staff. Also, if I go to that drop down, rate of pay is there and hours worked is there. So this also is a quick tip for you in terms of how to select stuff quickly. If you're always selecting the same area, why not name that selection? And then you never have to click and drag again. Um, so this example though, we're going to do a formula with those words. So let's get on with that. We're going to select these numbers. I'm going to get rid of them so we can do it from scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to say it's hours worked times rate of pay is our formula. So as you know, every formula always starts with an equal sign. And then we're going to type in what we're calculating. So we want to go hours work. So I'm simply going to start typing in hours. And as I type, it's showing me my choices. I have a function called hours and I have a named range called hours worked. Well, guess what? That's the one I want hours worked. So to select that one, I simply click on it and then I can hit enter or tab and that puts that into my formula and it highlights the hours worked. Now I'm going to go and hit the multiply sign and we're, I'm now going to say hours worked multiplied by rate of pay. And as I start typing in rate again, it pops up with other choices for me. So what I want is that named range called rate of pay. And then I'm going to hit the tab key to select that and look at it's confirming for me that I have the right information. It's showing me that it's highlighting hours worked. It's also highlighting rate of pay and it's highlighting the whole column because that whole column is called that. So I wonder if you can guess what's going to happen next. If it's highlighting the whole column, what's going to happen with my column E? I'm only typing into E4. Is it going to fill in the total there or what? Let's hit enter and see what happens. Ah, beautiful. All my work is done. I can go home. Uh, I am home, but uh, anyways, the, this is what I did. It actually let me fill in or it filled in for me the whole column because it says, well, hours worked is all the way from C4 to C10. So you must want to work with that total from C, from E4 to E10. So that's how quickly you can use a formula with words in it. Try it yourself, have some fun with it. And um, by the way, if you're looking for more tips, tips or tricks, more ideas, you know, stay tuned to this YouTube channel, subscribe below as well as join our free Facebook group because you're just a click away from saving hours in your day. Thanks and have a great one. Bye-bye.